In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solvate a protein or enzyme using VMD. The files I'm going to be using are this file csnp.pdb and csnp.psf. It is important to have this protein structure.psf file. That was the subject of a previous video. Um, so make sure you have that before attempting this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is load that structure file. Before I do that, what I'm going to do is set my directory in the console window. So under the extensions menu, open TK console, and I'm going to change directory into where I'm working, which is casein kinase, and then a subdirectory wild type. So that puts me there, makes it easier to load files, because if I click browse now, it goes straight there. So I open the protein structure file first, load it. Nothing will appear in the display, um, but you will see that it shows up in the main menu. You then load the PDB file on top of that. You'll see the structure appear, um, and it doesn't create a new molecule in the main window. It loads that structure on top of the structural information, the PSF file, which contains uh, charges and bond strengths. Um, and then the PDB file contains the coordinate positions of all the atoms so that it sort of combines them together in the display. And just because I like to see what the structure looks like, uh, I'm going to just change this to new cartoon so I can see the ribbon structure that this has. And the next thing that I will do is in the main window under extensions again go to modeling add solvation box. Now that we have the structure loaded it will automatically detect the structure file and the PDB file and it's going to create output files uh, given whatever name you put in this output box. I'm going to call it CSN underscore WB standing for casein, uh, the structure casein kinase uh, water box for WB. The boundary here, you can skip the segment ID, um, it's not important for this. The boundary is a distance that the water will extend beyond the protein or enzyme. In this case it's set to 2.4 which corresponds approximately to one layer of water uh, extending beyond the furthest reaches of the enzyme. Um, so that will essentially minimally solvate this this protein or enzyme. If you check the box use molecular dimensions VMD will measure the size of the enzyme and solvate it accordingly and that makes the rest of the parameters uh, below um, not so important. You can just skip all of them, click Solvate, you'll see things happening in the uh, window or if you have your console pulled up you'll see things happening there and what you're looking for is to get your cursor back at the end with the info here saying that the Solvate was completed successfully. You'll notice that there are now two structures loaded, one being your new Solvated Enzyme what I will do is delete the one we started with and then I will create a representation so that it's clear the water from the enzyme. So I create the water, set it to CPK for the method, create a representation that is protein and set it to new cartoon and now you can see the enzyme is solvated with a box of water and if you orient it just so you can see on each side that essentially the enzyme here extends all the way to the edge of the box um, so there's there should only be a single water molecule that extends further at those those points so there's your water box uh, and one thing we need to do before we end this tutorial is to measure the size of that box and so what we're going to do is we're going to set a variable 
called everyone and in it we're going to store all of the structural information as far as uh, the positions of all the atoms. We're going to select the top molecule since we now only have this one molecule loaded it is the top as indicated by the T in this column and you can always if you have multiple ones loaded you can just double click to select which one you have on top so we're going to select the top structure which is now the solvated protein we're going to get everything associated all that's associated with that top structure and we're going to store it in the variable everyone and so if I hit enter it tells me that I've stored that variable I can then use the keyword measure the minimum and maximum of that structure that's going to give me the minimum and maximum XYZ of that structure and I'm going to get that from my variable everyone so the dollar sign just says get the data that's stored in the variable everyone if I hit enter I get a set of coordinates and what I'm going to do is just copy those so I highlight them copy them I'm just going to paste them into Excel here and keep those because we're going to use them in the next tutorial when it comes to uh, actually simulating this enzyme so just to let you know this there are two sets of curly brackets here's the first one that's the minimum X X being this number minus 45 the minimum Y which is this 21 the minimum Z 20.832 the maximum X 11.788 the maximum Y, 74.018997, etc. And the maximum Z, 76.081, with some extra decimals. Uh, okay, so we're going to use those in the next video, so hang on to that Excel file. But you now have a solvated protein.